Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel ML for Analytics. I am Jyoti Dikshit and today I will be covering another important concept in Power BI that is bidirectional filtering in Power BI. So let's get started. So the database that I will be using in this uh, particular video is again Controso database by Microsoft. And uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, let me tell you uh, about the tables that I am using about the data model that is being used in this particular video and then we can go ahead. So uh, I have three tables over here. The fact online sales is a fact table. So it records all the transactions that are going on. And then I have two dimension tables, uh, dim date and dim product. So uh, dim date is having one to many relationship with fact online sales and the, the column uh, which is used in order to create this particular relationship is, 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 yeah, date key of uh, dim date table and um, date key of fact online sales. So uh, I can see that uh, e each date key in dim date is having many instances in fact online sales. So you can say that uh, date key is a primary key in dim date table and it is a foreign key in fact online sales table. The second thing is if I go to say dim product table then I am going to see how this is related to fact online sales. Again uh, product key is acting as a primary key in dim product table and as a foreign key in fact online sales table. Again, it is also having dim product is on the one side of relationship and uh, fact online sales is on the many side of this relationship. So what this states is that I can use any column from dim product table uh, to, uh, to do filtering uh, to filter fact online sales table. And the same applies to dim date table also. I can use any column in dim date table to do filtering of fact online sales table. But vice versa is not true. Why? Because of the, um, because of the direction of the filter propagation. I can see that the direction propagates from dim date to fact online sales. So dim date is able to filter fact online sales but I am not able to do uh, the same if I say uh, use any column from fact online sales and I want to filter as something from dim date I want to filter dim date table then it's not possible because of the direction and the same thing is applied for dim product table I can use dim product to filter fact table but vice versa can't be done because of the direction which uh, is uh, playing a direction of filter propagation. So this is uh, one thing and so I will go to my uh, main uh, this thing uh, report view and uh, let me tell you uh, I'll explain you how to apply bidirectional cross filtering and we will also talk about calculate and cross filter function in that. So uh, let's jump to demo part. So what I have used in this particular thing is that I have created a matrix visualization and it is having calendar year over here in the rows and so calendar year is a column of dim date table. So that is uh, having years over here 2005 to 2011. And uh, what I have done is I have created a measure which is sum of sales amount. And you can see that uh, what this does is, is it iterates on fact online sales table. and it actually calculates the sum of sales amount and uh, 
this is what is being done over here and it is stored in a measure uh, the name of which is sum of sales amount so what i'll be doing is uh, let me place this in the values field over here and i can see that calendar year is the is able to filter the sales amount i'm getting different values of sales amount for each calendar year why the reason is simple because dim date any column from dim date can filter packed online sales table and over here uh, this calendar year is a column of dim date and the sum of sales amount is a measure that has been calculated from one of the columns of packed online sales so it's simple the filtering is uh, is getting done and i am getting correct results no ambiguity nothing sorted okay but suppose now i want to see the distinct count of products for each calendar year then what is going to happen so for that i have created a measure distinct count of products over here and it's simple this measure uh, the formula of this measure is apply distinct count function on the product key column of dim product and so i am going to add this now you can see that 2517 is being repeated for each value of calendar year so i can see that the that calendar year column is not able to filter the products and it is not able to get the distinct count of products so it this 2517 is actually the total amount of products the total amount of distinct products which are lying in this dim product table so why this is happening why can't the filter propagate from calendar year to obtain distinct count of products from dim product table so for that let's go back to our model so what what is being done is that i am using some column from dim date the filter propagation is happening from this table to fact online sales but i am not able to filter by calendar year and the table uh, dim product why because the filter propagation ceases at this point at fact online sales and it is not able to traverse from fact online sales to dim product because of the direction that is uh, that is lying over here currently only dim product is able to filter fact online sales but vice versa can't be done so filter propagation from dim date ceases at fact online sales and this propagation the path of propagation ends over here so if i want to actually filter uh, uh, i i want to filter the number of uh, distinct products the count of distinct products by calendar year i have to do something so that filter propagation occurs from here to packed online sales and from packed online sales it comes to dim product so for that one feature is there in power bi so what i'll do is uh, on this particular relationship between dim product and packed online sales just double click once you double click you will see that between fact online sales and dim product the relationship existing is uh, is actually existing by means of product key but the cross filter direction is set to single and what i am going to do is i am going to set it to both so select it apply okay it is going to apply the same to model and now you can see that the path filter propagation path becomes from dim date to fact online sales from fact online sales to dim product so now what is the answer now you can see 
that for each calendar year I am having the distinct count of products values are different so and the total again is 2517 so uh, again it's it's actually the fundamentals which we have to apply over here it's actually the matter of path propagation filtering path propagation so that has been uh, done over here but you know what by directional filtering is actually not recommended uh, so actually in data modeling world it, it is it is actually recommended to only stick to one to many relationship and uh, with uh, and with the one side uh, enabling uh, one side to filter the many side but vice versa is actually not recommended or if you want to use if uh, a case like this comes where you want to actually apply uh, this thing uh, you want to use the many side to filter one side so in that case you do it in a measure and so that you can control the behavior uh, you can control the path propagation you can control the behavior uh, of the model and you know uh, where uh, everything is taking place because uh, it's a small model in our case but when the models uh, become model becomes large and when you have many tables in your model then it is going to uh, result uh, in ambiguity which i will be discussing in my future videos so uh, how to handle this in a measure what what i can do so that i am able to obtain distinct count of products uh for uh, and i am able to make the path propagate from a uh, dim date to fact online sales to dim product uh and i don't have to do this over here i don't have to set this uh relationship uh, uh the direction of this relationship to both so how to achieve that so uh, for that uh we are going to use a function which is called as cross filter function so it is a function of dax uh it is having three arguments column name 1 column name 2 and the direction of uh the uh, the filter propagation so column 1 is actually uh, it represents the many side of a relationship so you are going to uh uh set this column name 1 equal to uh the key uh, which belongs to uh, the many side uh, of the relationship column 2 is actually the one side of the relationship a column representing the one side of the relationship and in direction so it is the direction of cross filtering it has it it can be set to three different modes first one is none so it says no cross filtering occurs along this relationship you are setting the relationship between column name 1 and column name 2 to none you are not you are actually breaking that relationship so you are actually the you are actually breaking the path of propagation in that case for one it's actually the default case so you want the one or the lookup side of the relationship to filter the many side uh so uh this is uh, the default case that uh, that occurs uh, in data model in our data model then the third is actually both so in this case you can uh, you can uh, use any table to filter the other one table to filter the many side and the many side to filter the one side so in that case i have obtained a third measure, measure over here and what is being done is uh this is distinct count of products using cross filter it is equal to calculate i remember this is actually a modifier cross filter is, is going to act as a modifier in uh, in this calculate function the first argument of calculate is usually an expression a measure and the second argument which i am using over here it is actually a modifier in this i i know that i want to actually set the relationship between dim product and fact online sales 
to bidirectional. So in that case, uh, product key of fact online sales is on the many side of my relationship. So that is being done over here. Product key of dim product is on the one side of the relationship. So that has been set as set to second argument. And the third is actually both. It is set to both. So, so, so now when I have got this and now if I actually click on this, you can see that the result is same. But now you can say, Jyoti, uh, it may be coming because we have set this to bidirectional over here. Uh, no worries. What I'm going to do is I'm going to again set it to single so that you can differentiate. And I'm going to click on OK. And if I go over here, you can see that though this distinct count of products is repeated for all of them, but distinct count of product using cross filter, it is actually having these three values which, which we were getting uh, when uh, the relationship over here was set to bidirectional. So in this case, if say I remove uh, this one, uh, distinct count of products and I just keep distinct count of products using cross filter then I'm getting the same answer that I was getting previously when I was using bidirectional cross filtering. So in this video we have learned two ways of doing the same thing of achieving the same result. We just wanted to uh, uh, change the path propagation. We wanted to modify, enhance the path propagation. We wanted uh, dim date to be able to filter the dim product. And so we wanted this relationship to be activated to both, to both directions. So rather than doing it inside the model itself, I handled this in this particular DAX expression. So this, uh, this has resulted in the same uh, output and I didn't have to modify my data model. So the, this actually uh, is very advantageous because if I have like uh, many tables in my model and if I set uh, all this to the model itself and I allow the bidirectional thing to model itself, then I may run in trouble which we will be talking about in our future videos uh, when we will be coming to discuss ambiguities. So uh, this is uh, the use case that I wanted to discuss in this bidirectional filtering in Power BI. Uh, remember, uh, it's uh, please use bidirectional filtering only when it is badly needed. Otherwise, if you want to apply this, handle this in a measure in DAX and uh, or if you can do something, if you change your data model and if you can do something and you just can set the relationship to one to many and you just uh, add something else to the model, a table to the model and you handle it that way, then do it that way rather than applying it to the data model itself. It is a powerful feature of DAX. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it is actually uh, no doubt. Undoubtedly, it is a very powerful feature, but it comes at a price. It comes uh, with a price. So uh, guys, uh, with this, I conclude this video. And uh, if you uh, like this video, then please hit like. If you have any thoughts on this video, then please uh, reach out to us uh, via the comment section, share this video and subscribe to our channel to learn more about BI and data science. Uh, so thank you and stay tuned. Bye-bye.